Hello all, it's Liam from the Beyond the Point team. I just wanted to announce our upcoming video series, Abandoned Wales, and it's going to be releasing in five parts a week at a time, every weekend. So make sure you're subscribed and tuned in to see them as soon as they come out. And I think some of these, the best videos that I have personally made, um, some of the places that we look at are just absolutely amazing. Now, basically, just to give you a bit of context, this trip started in 2020 when I reunited with my university exploring friends that I did some videos a couple of years ago down in Devon and Somerset with. Um, Tom kindly hosted us. Um, he hosted me up in the north of Wales and in the south, so we got a real range. And then I went back to Wales in 2021, this year twice, with my friend Chris that has been in the Isle of Grain videos with Tom Outdoors a while ago and we went basically just looking for a bit of a holiday UK break somewhere interesting and I ended up filming a lot of abandonments and interesting bits and pieces and decided to put it all together into a bit of a series. It's kind of like this thing, it's kind of grown by accident into a large project from what was meant to just be maybe one video about one trip. Um, it wasn't sort of planned for Beyond the Point particularly uh, because obviously it's just something that I've done in my free time. Joe, obviously he hasn't been on these adventures. So, um, you know, yeah, hopefully it's still going to be good. It's still going to sort of have the BTP um, classic cinematic feel to it. But obviously it's not the full duo. But perhaps, it, perhaps it's a little experiment into what Joe and I might be able to do in future further afield. Maybe abroad maybe in some further field places that aren't necessarily locally relevant to us, yet I'd like to think I've still tried to make an effort to understand the story behind these places. The videos are going to be in five parts. The first three are from the 2020 trip with my uni friends. Uh, we first look at the Car Cave, which is a bit of a sort of landmark um, amongst urban explorers, but personally I think it's maybe a bit overrated. Yes, it, it makes for a great photograph, which I didn't get because I didn't want to climb down a sheer rock face in the pitch black. Um, <laughs> but basically there's a mountain of cars underground and people like to get a photo of that. But to explore it, you can't even see this because it's so dark. But what you can see is loads and loads of abandoned like walkways through this large underground void. And you're looking down into abyss, um, massive drops, walking across little ledges. It was very dangerous, very treacherous. It's still made for a great explore. I think this is my least favorite of the videos just because um, it's more of a hands-on vlog as we're dealing with the treacherous environment. So it's maybe more of a warm-up video. This is the first one. The second one is the Norwick or Die Norwick Quarry. This is a huge slate mine in the north of Wales again. And this is a bit of a ghost town. Um, all the buildings from the mine are still sort of left out in the hills. And it's somewhere that I wanted to go way back. When I was about 14, I remember Joe and I sort of looking at it. Um, way back in the day thinking it would be amazing to one day get to go there and we finally made it. The next video, the third one, this is one of my favourites so definitely sort of hang around for this one. This is a place called Kun Kokiri. It's a bit more of a hands-on video but it's got some great cinematic sections and it's just a huge coke works which if you don't know is a fuel that is made from coal and it was just like these huge concrete towers and structures quite unhealthy explore actually. Um, yeah, but it was just a really cool, epic scale abandonment um, that, yeah, I hope it makes for a great video. And the fourth video, we're gonna look at um, the coal mines that have been scattered throughout South Wales. And we're gonna look at the remains of those, compare them to some that have been turned into museums. This is one that I filmed with Chris on two separate trips and um, we just visited loads and loads of different collieries and I think there's six different locations in this one video. So it's got more of a thematic approach rather than just making one video about one place and I actually quite like that. It's a bit more like a film, a short film. So I'm lucky enough to have watched Liam's video and I've got to say you do not want to miss it. There are so many really interesting locations. 
A lot of them are all derelict, they're abandoned and typical BTP. But Liam's also filmed in a museum and he's really captured something that's quite different to our normal videos and he's sort of covered an industry and all the buildings relating to that. And of course it's in Wales, it's not in Essex. Um, but yes, really good video. I think lots of you are going to be interested in the places, uh, so make sure you check it out. So yeah, hopefully that's a promising sign. Hopefully you all like it. And then also the final video, um, it's just more of a, a roundup of a mixture of abandoned places on the final trip. And I just sort of put that footage together into a video going from an old rubber factory to a huge abandoned castle that was insane. It was just this magical looking overgrown ruin. Um, and then we go to some old railway ruins. So it's a really cool video. Again, it's got that sort of cinematic element to it. Hope you enjoy it. But my favorite are the third and the fourth videos, the Kunkokuri and the coal mining short film. I think those are my personal favorites. Give us feedback on what you think of this, what you think of us doing videos further afield. Hopefully you find it interesting. Um, I found it a great experience um, and you know, I hope it's the kind of stuff that you guys like to see. So thanks for watching, stay tuned next week for part one which is going to be the car cave. Is it all it's cracked up to be? We're going to find out. See you there.